Before 1992, before I ever touched a computer, I played a lot of games on the NES. And on the NES, one of the most fascinating things to me were the password generators. I am Biscuit, and in this series we explore how old games generate their passwords. The Mega Man series sure is fond of passwords. Today we will examine Mega Man 4. In Mega Man 4 you have the classic selection of 8 Robot Masters. You also have the 4 Cossack stages and the 3 Wily stages. However, because the game is evil, it doesn't save progress in any of those later stages. As for items, there's the Robot Dog Helper, Rush, and also two collectible tools, the Balloon and Wire Adapters, and of course the E-Tanks. However, Rush Coil is complimentary, Rush Jet comes automatically with Drillman, and Rush Marine comes automatically with Toadman, so these are not saved in the password. Did I mention the game is evil? For the first time, E-Tanks are no longer saved in the password. Neither are extra lives, health or energy, etc. So we have 10 things that are saved. The 8 Robot Masters each are either beaten or not beaten. This means one bit of data per boss. The adapters are also either acquired or not acquired. The total amount of data to be saved in the password is therefore 10 bits. Now, one of the goals in this series is to exhaustively cover the entire password system of the game. In 10 seconds you will see all passwords of Mega Man 4. Be ready to memorize them. Use the pause button if necessary. Ready. Go. Now, there were three important observations that everyone made. Firstly, all passwords were made of six dots. The smallest possible grid for the passwords of this game would be 10 cells, but this would only work with variable dot passwords. Why can't we just have nice binary numbers? After all, binary is the easiest possible number system. Secondly, not all cells were used. Though most of them were used, there were five cells that were never used. But the third and the most revealing detail is the frequency at which each cell was used. There were a total of 20 cells that were occupied in precisely one quarter of the passwords. And then there were 11 cells that were occupied at varying numbers of frequency. Two of them were only occupied in exactly one password. Hmm... Well, whatever. I'll just cut to the chase, seeing as I was never able to figure out this game myself. When I was a child, I spent hours and then hours writing passwords after passwords on a paper, trying to figure out the pattern, but this game eluded me. Years later, I learned it from internet. I still haven't read the disassembly. This game divides the bosses into groups of two. Each pair of bosses is treated as a binary number. For each pair, a different dot is selected, depending on which combination of those two are acquired. And then the number of things acquired is calculated. This is called a population count or a humming weight, by the way. And the dot corresponding to that number is placed. Here is a little program I wrote to generate arbitrary passwords. Oops, I almost forgot you guys hate PHP. So here's a Python version. I will let you judge which one looks nicer. So that was Mega Man 4. I am Biscuit and in the next episode we will take another break from robots.